Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing a cozy homemaking video where I'll be sharing some DIYs, my favorite easy peasy bread recipe, and some cleaning motivation. If you're new here, my name is Amanda and this is my channel, Amanda's Daily Home, where I share real life cleaning and homemaking motivation. I love to do all things cleaning, cooking, decorating, and DIY. If you're new here, welcome and I would love it if you'd subscribe and follow along. And if you're returning, I am so happy that you are back. Let's get to today's video. So first things first, before I get started with all of the things I wanna to do today, I'm just gonna go ahead and get ready. I always feel better once I wash my face and do a little bit of makeup and put on some clothes. Some days I just throw my hair in a bun and I don't have my makeup done and I throw on joggers and a t-shirt and I just feel so much more frumpy. So today I just wanted to get dressed because I have a lot that I want to get done. I've been looking at all sorts of Christmas DIYs on Pinterest lately. Now that I finally have a nice big kitchen island again, I'm excited to work on some projects. One of the projects I'm working on is Christmas decor pieces using my new 3D printer. So I got the new Anchor Make MC5 printer. It is the perfect printer. It is a powerhouse. It's known for precision, reliability, and it's a user-friendly printer. It's perfect for beginners and even seasoned 3D printing enthusiasts, but I am definitely a beginner and I was able to use this so easily. I made my project without a hitch. So I'm just quickly unboxing it and setting it up. It was really easy. I've got the base, I've got the top part, and then I just went ahead and used my Allen key just to tighten it up. And then I plugged in a few wires and that was it. It was so much easier than I thought. I thought it was gonna be complicated to set up, but it was nice. So my kids are so excited that I got this 3D printer. They've been wanting one for so long. They keep seeing TikTok videos and Instagram reels of everybody creating all these neat and cool things. So they've got all of these ideas of things that they want to print. This new M5C model is new and improved with a maximum speed of 500 millimeters per second. And it just does such a great job of not only being really fast, but super accurate. So I just added the filament to the machine. That was so much easier than I expected it to be. The machine is ready to go. So I'm just gonna hop on my app here. I already picked out a Christmas tree from their library. They had a model library with a whole bunch of different things. So I picked this one out and then I'm just clicking print and then all of a sudden the machine started working. So I wasn't quite sure what was happening at first. I've never used a 3D printing machine, but then all of a sudden, this beautiful design started coming out onto the pad here and honestly it was like mesmerizing just watching this thing work it's just unbelievable the technology i was floored anchor make just makes it so easy to use this machine it includes a one-click operation on the mc5 custom button adjustments and within the slicing software one-click slicing so you import your model into the software and the printing parameters are automatically set and with one click the slicing file is wirelessly transmitted to the machine for printing it's like magic so you guys, this is the end result. What a beautiful, whimsical looking Christmas tree. I'm going to incorporate this into my decorating. So if you guys are interested in checking out the Anchor Make MC5 3D printer, I will make sure to link it down below in the description box. They have a Black Friday sale on. It is a awesome gift idea. Like my boys love this thing. And like I said, it's a perfect Christmas gift idea. I will make sure to leave the link and a coupon code down below in the description box for you guys. All right guys, so I am in the kitchen now. I'm trying to stay on top of the dishes. The main floor has been actually pretty clean lately. So I'm just going to unload the dishwasher, reload it, and then we are going to do a little bit of crafting and some baking. 
So in this part of the video, I wanted to make sure I got some cleaning motivation in for you guys. So if you have any cleaning to do, you can clean along with me or just watch this part. And then in the next part of the video, I'm going to be doing the DIY projects. And I really want to do some more. If you guys have any like great ideas for DIY, leave them down below in my description box because I'm hunting for some fun Christmas DIYs to do here on my channel. All right, so dishwasher is pretty much all ready to go. I want to make sure that I get all the rest of these dishes put away. I am like a little bit weird. I sometimes feel like I can't get other projects done if the kitchen is a mess. Like if I have a messy space, I can't work on anything else. I like to have a clean slate so I can just like focus on what I'm working on. I know it's kind of weird and sometimes it is not a good thing because I feel like I never get anything else done because I'm always like needing everything else around me clean because that's how I focus best. Anyways, so we are almost done with the cleaning here. Still gonna take care of the stuff in the sink. I'm gonna wash out the sink and then wipe the counters. Now that I've gotten those last couple of pots and pans out of the sink, I'm just going to go ahead and squirt some dish soap around the sink and then just scrub it down and give it a good rinse.
All right, now that the kitchen is clean, I am making my overnight bread recipe. I haven't made this in forever. It is so easy. All it is is three and a quarter cups of all-purpose flour, two teaspoons of fine sea salt, one package of active dry yeast, which is actually two and a quarter teaspoons, and then one and a third cups of warm water. And then I noticed after when I was going over the recipe for you guys, I forgot to add, it does ask for sugar or some honey, which I did not add, but to be totally honest, it tasted completely fine. So you really, I guess you don't have to have it, but the recipe does call for it. It actually calls for one teaspoon of honey or sugar, but obviously I was too busy and not paying attention. It tasted good anyways. It is almost gone. It's downstairs in the kitchen right now. There's only a little bit left. And once you add your warm water, you're just gonna go ahead and stir it up. It is supposed to have a shaggy texture, so no big deal. Just once you mix it up like this, you're just gonna kind of leave it into a round shape and then cover it with plastic wrap. And you're gonna wanna let this rise for about 12 to 18 hours. That's why it's called overnight bread because you typically make it the day before and then just leave it on the counter overnight. So here's the recipe, it's from gimmesomeoven.com and I will make sure that I link that down below for you guys. I highly recommend you try it. As soon as I was done making the bread dough, I just went ahead and checked on my printing machine just to see how it was doing. So this is how the project was coming out at this point. And this actually is supposed to take 12 hours. 3D printers take a long time because they are very precise and they do very, very tiny layers. So it's supposed to be ready at 1 a.m. So in the meantime, I'm gonna be working on my yarn Christmas trees. I picked up these little crystal snowflakes. I had to get a new glue gun because my other one is still in storage. Some glue sticks and some yarn. And then these are from the dollar store. They are just little LED Christmas lights. So it's gonna be a quick and easy project to do, but it's gonna look super pretty. So I just started off by putting some hot glue on the very top of the tree. I'm just kind of like going back and forth just to cover the top. It doesn't come to a complete point up there. It's a little bit of a flat surface. So I'm just wanting to cover any styrofoam. We don't want any of it showing. And once I've got my base here, I am just going to go ahead and start going in circles all the way until I get to the bottom of the tree. I really like the way it looks, just the yarn. I think that is super simple and pretty. So if you are into minimalism, you can go ahead and just like leave them like that. They are pretty just the way they are. Or you can even just add the string of lights, which I also consider doing. Originally I was going to get just the clear white lights, but I couldn't find them and I found the colored. But I find that the kids really love the things for Christmas that are like colorful and sparkly. So that is why I chose colored lights and then I chose to decorate little crystal snowflakes all over my tree. I just wanted it to be like a magical, whimsical look for the kids. I'm not worried about making it look like classy or like minimalistic. That's just not what it's like to be a kid at Christmas. You just love those colors and you love all of the like sparkles and shimmers and stuff like that. So I wanted to do that for the kids. So 
obviously I'm on the phone here multitasking. It is probably Jeff on the phone if I remember correctly. I think he was coming home with one of the kids from practice. So we always have to kind of like go over what our evening looks like. We have to head to Emmett's game on this evening. So I had like a little window to get done as much of the tree as I could. And then the printing machine that's going to be on until like I said, 1 a.m. So that won't be done until way after we get back from his hockey game. So this tree is now done. I'm just adding some hot glue along the bottom. So obviously the yarn doesn't start unraveling. And then this yarn tree is actually done. And then you can go ahead and decorate it however way you want it. Like I said, you can leave it or you can add lights and little sparkles and tinsel and whatever you find at the craft store or the dollar store. These little LED lights, they are actually so cute. I love them. They're like wired, so you can kind of like shape it the way you want it to go. So I'm just roll like wrapping it all around the Christmas tree, but I want to get some more of these because they are super handy and I pretty much want to put them everywhere I can to light things up for Christmas. And then here we go with the little crystal snowflakes. So just a little dot of hot glue on the back and then I just press it into the yarn. And I'm going to try to go ahead and link down below all of the supplies that you're going to need to make these Christmas trees if you want to make these. I think it's a really neat project to do just because it's so easy, like a beginner can do it. But even if the kids want to make their own little Christmas trees, it's something that you can make as a family. So everybody kind of has their own little tree. They can put it in their room or you can put it in the living room or wherever. In between your sheets breaking out in the best of ways and I'm back again on the street All right, so this is my first finished tree. This one is green. I went with like a muted green color just so it looks like a real tree in the forest. And then next up, I'm going to do a cream color tree. Okay, so before I head to Emmett's game, this was all I was able to get done. So here we fast forward. I put on my comfy jammies. Everyone is upstairs to bed. I've got my white fleecy pajamas with silver snowflakes all over them. I actually bought these a couple of years ago, but I kept saving them for one day when we moved into the new house. Well, here we are. We finally moved into the new house and I'm wearing my comfortable pajamas. So I'm going to get started on that Christmas tree. But first I thought to myself, you know what? This bread dough is ready. So I'm going to go ahead and actually bake it tonight. Right now it's probably like 1130 PM. So it's been about 12 hours. I'm going to put that in the oven and then that way we have fresh bread for the morning so I can make sandwiches for the kids lunch. Well, I'm all for Christmas All the happy smiles and the wishes And I want it all So when you're making this bread, you're supposed to preheat your Dutch oven, but I don't have a Dutch oven. I did have one, but the enamel started chipping off of it on the inside. I ended up throwing it away. I probably shouldn't have because I could have just covered it in parchment paper for things like this when I'm baking bread. So that's okay because the dish that I put in the oven it works perfectly fine so that is in the hot oven right now preheating so I'm just putting some um, some flour on the cutting board that way this sticky dough doesn't stick to the cutting board and then we're just gonna like turn it out 
dream I know This Christmas I only want to be close to you Now that I've got my little bread dough ball ready to go here, I've floured it, that way it's not going to stick to anything. I'm going to go and get the hot dish out of the oven and then we are going to place this on a sheet of parchment paper and then that is going to go into the dish. I'm just going to cover this up while the dish is still heating. This is going to rest for a few minutes and I'm going to start working on the cream colored tree. hot dish is ready so I just set it on the stove over there it's really hot so I just placed that parchment paper right into the dish I'm going to grab my oven mitts and place that in the oven and then we're going to go ahead and cover it up and that is going to bake covered for 30 minutes I tried scoring the bread here but I don't really have a super sharp knife and I don't even know if the bread is the proper texture for it so it wasn't really working great but it did work a little bit so it still ended up looking nice but not like the ones that you see on Instagram that look so beautiful with all their nice designs. Mm -hmm. 
All right, back to my cream color Christmas tree. The bread is baking in the oven. I absolutely love the smell of fresh baked bread, especially when I'm doing like Christmas decorations. It is so cozy in here right now. So now that I've gotten the cream tree done, it looks so pretty just like that. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and string it with the lights. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add my little crystal snowflakes to the tree now, and then we can go ahead and start working on the red tree. all right this red tree is looking pretty good it's much smaller so we've got the three different sizes which i really like the bread is now pretty much ready it's so nice and golden looking it looks so good so as soon as it has about 10 minutes just to I don't know what you call it, golden up, crisp up on the top. Then I'm going to take it out and let it sit on the stove and cool down. And then checking in on our little Christmas decor ornament here. The 3D printer has been busy working. It looks like it's getting close to being done, but it still probably has about an hour to go. So I'm just gonna finish up these little trees here. Take the heart, that's when the snow starts falling. I pick all the peasants up for you. Decorate the fireplace for two. I keep waiting all night, all night. Wish upon a starlight, starlight. 
our bread is ready to come out of the oven. I just love this. It smells so good and it looks so pretty. So this is just going to sit right there and it's going to cool off. And I think tonight I'm actually going to make a cheese bread version and a cinnamon raisin version too. So I haven't really decided where these trees are going to go, but for now, this is going to be their home just over here. I'm just going to switch out the wooden sign there. I'm going to put the Christmas sign right by the little trees. I think it looks so pretty. I've got that light there. I'm hoping to get those floating shelves up soon, but for now, they are still in the pantry waiting to be put up. So before I head to bed, I'm just checking on my 3D printer with my tree ornament here. It is still printing away, but like I said, it looks like it's almost done, but it is about 12.45 by the time I'm going to bed. So I had to leave it. And in the morning, this is what I woke up to. It looks so pretty. I cannot wait to do the finishing touches on it. I think I will share that with you guys in one of my upcoming videos. So if you guys want to keep following along and seeing my future videos, please make sure you guys are subscribed. Hit that little notification bell so you guys don't miss any of my future videos. And I will see you guys next time in the next video. Bye.